targeting anonymous users of the blog, MySeline.com, isn't stopping those bloggers from sharing their opinions on the three Bryant Council members who filed the suit. Good evening, I'm Kelly Dodzik. And I'm Hubert Tate. The three claim there are libelous and defamatory remarks in certain blogs on the site. But as Fox 16's Catherine Johnson shows us, it will take a lot more than a lawsuit in order for the website's creator to hand over the bloggers' identities. Catherine. All right, Hubert Kelly, here on the website MySeline.com, creator Shelly Russell says she's doing her best to cooperate with all of the terms of the lawsuit, posting all documents relating to the lawsuit here on her website, and right next to it, the First Amendment. And there's been more comments here. You are after free speech, writes an anonymous user on MySeline.com. When you start messing with that, you're not messing with just Bryant, but the whole country. Bloggers are lashing back to a lawsuit filed against them by three Bryant City Council members, Brenda Miller, Danny Steele, and Adrian Henley. The lawsuit claims anonymous users on MySeline.com are writing false and defamatory remarks about the aldermen. There's nothing specific listed in there as to what it is they're talking about that could be defamatory or, or construed as cyberbullying. But Arkansas state law reads it's sufficient to state generally that the defamatory matter was published or spoken, requiring no specifics. Still, MySeline.com creator Shelly Russell has hired her own attorney. And despite a subpoena asking to release information to trace these anonymous users, she's not giving it up. I want people to have their privacy, and it's not necessary to have that information out there. Today on the phone, the council member's attorney, Tona Demers, responded, just because she's fighting it doesn't mean she'll be successful, that she has hundreds of pages of evidence proving malicious intent, and that this goes way beyond any First Amendment privilege. But this isn't stopping Russell. I like to provide a website that uh, builds community, does not tear it down. And sometimes you have to go to war to have peace. As for her anonymous users... The Shady Dog Bites council members to Adrian Henley, Brenda Miller, and Danny Steele. They're still posting. Russell is now already organizing what she's calling a free speech rally to try to gain some funds to pay for not only her legal fees, but any legal fees that may also be added if these anonymous bloggers are ever identified. She's hoping to hold that free speech rally sometime early next month. Reporting live, Katherine Johnson, Fox 16 News. Katherine, I took a look at this website earlier today, and I noticed some of the bloggers have pictures on their profiles. Now, how does that affect identifying them in a lawsuit? Hubert, I asked Shelly Russell that same question today, and she said, you know, you can't even tell if those pictures are actually that blogger. I mean, today on the internet, you can put any picture as your profile picture that you want. So it's not necessarily even that blogger. So she said, this doesn't really compromise their identities. Interesting. All right, Fox 16's Kathleen Johnson, thank you. And here is your Fox 16 bottom line. Russell says even if she's eventually forced to give up the information, there's no guarantee the anonymous users can be traced via IP addresses. At least six bloggers are targeted in the lawsuit. All three council members who filed the action are up for re-election this year. We'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this lawsuit. Go to fox16.com right now and click on rants and raves to email us or call us 501-217-4416. Keep in mind, we might read your comments on the air.